Parents with nanny cams. What have you caught your babysitter doing? Well a case which happened near where I live. Woman used to work. Husband out of country. Had a two year old kid. They hired a nanny to look after him during daytime. Day by day kid started looking malnourished. So she set up a spy cam. Apparently the lady used to bring her kid and feed him all the food left for the kid she was supposed to babysit. Then she would feed the kid cheap biscuits. She was promptly handed over to police. Friends of ours don't have kids but have dogs. They were going out of town and told the dog sitter about all of the cameras including the one that is outside but sometimes picks up reflections and will actively notify them of motion. The dog sitter seemed to get it but she forgot to convey that to her boyfriend who came out and walked around naked quite a bit. Not me but my aunt's friend set up a nanny cam because she noticed that every time she changed her child's diaper the child would start crying a lot more than usual. Turns out when they watched the nanny change her diaper, she would use Clorox wipes if they were nearby instead of grabbing the baby wipes. Wish I had a nanny cam. My stepsister was watching my brother with disabilities for me. She would dump out the contents of his capsules meds and use them later. Didn't find out about it till he stared having seizures constantly and ended up in the hospital for the second time. We didn't have a nanny cam. But my mom set up the camcorder when she suspected our babysitter was stealing. And then caught the babysitter stealing. She returned most of the stuff when my mom threatened to report her to the police. I think she should still have reported her anyway. Now she probably just went on stealing at other people's places. We once caught the nanny putting charcoal to feed them as a snack. This woman claimed that she thought it was a snack. It was in a charcoal box. My brothers were four. A little late to the party but here goes. My mom suspected our maid of stealing the silverware. And she's just effing nosy. Anyway, the maid was indeed stealing the silverware. I think that ended up being overshadowed by my dad effing her. Though, if watching adult videos has taught me anything, your dad was just punishing her for stealing. My family bought one to see our dogs when we leave on vacation twice a year. It's one where they can hear us and we thought I'd be great. We hardly used it. We also asked our maid to dog sit for us while we were out. Once when we looked at the feed we saw the dog sit there a solid 30 minutes early just petting the dogs and playing with them. She's since retired from working. But she was the sweetest old lady and we love her. Another time my dad left a wad of cash on top of the washing machine. About $600. And she put a rubber band around it with a note saying he misplaced it. I was the child and there weren't any nanny cams but my parents had left a small bucket of toys and things to keep me busy and they hired a babysitter to watch me while they both had to take over time at work and knew they would be gone most of the day. The babysitter moved that bucket of toys to another room, put me in a crib and proceeded to go off and read or something and left me there 4 hours with nothing to do, only coming back to check on me or feed me. My parents came back to me just sadly sitting in my crib. Not a parent. Caught my little sister's babysitter catching a good hour long nap at 2pm while my one year old sister was up having the time of her life destroying my playstation. This was my, equivalent of, pre-k. All the kids were aggressing in their movement ability and getting really fat so they set up spy equipment. Turns out one carer was doubling every baby's food portions and forcefully overfeeding them. I've been a pretty regular weekend nanny for an amazing family for 4 years now. They've cycled through a couple different week dayness since I've been with them. There is only one monitor and it's in the little dude's room. Once the mom showed me on the camera why they let one go. Little dude said mommy said I don't have to do that. And the nanny snapped back well it doesn't matter. Mommy is a bee. And then dragged the kid out of the room by his shirt. Super fired. Watched her outside playing with my dogs. She was dog sitting. Our yellow Labrador and golden retriever puppy started munching the blueberries right now off our blueberry bushes. They know damn well they're not supposed to get into the blueberry patch. We watched our dog sitter run over to them and try to get them to stop. She then ran inside, and ran back out with a bowl. She proceeded to race the dogs for the blueberries. Had to be one of the highlights of our trip. We came home to a bowl of blueberries in the fridge and two very guilty puppers. One of the dogs my family had when growing up developed a taste for blackberries. We tried to discourage him from eating them through various means, but nothing was out of reach for him. And he had the ability to tell precisely when they ripened. Even though we had the vines tied up off the ground, 
He'd still get them if you caught him in the act you'd see him on his hind legs giving a careful sniff to identify the ripe ones, then delicately pluck each of them off the vine. God I miss that blackberry thief. I dogs it for some neighbors, one of which told me she has a camera in the living room dining room for her dogs, you know those ones that dispense treats. Anyways I thought it was a strange essential oil diffuser until she told me what it was. I was being paid to play with them for an hour but she found out that I was actually staying for 2 or 3 hours. When she asked me about it I think I said something like I'd want someone to do the same for my dog. Ever since then she leaves me treats in the kitchen and even got me a Christmas present from the dogs. This isn't something that I caught a babysitter doing but I remember that I once saw on TV the case of some parents that went with her baby to the doctor because she cried a lot for apparently no reason. The doctor told them that she looked really stressed and asked them if they were doing something that could make her act like that. They didn't. Then the doctor and the parents noticed some really tiny dots in the girl's belly and they had no idea where they came from. The babysitter told them that she had no idea but they didn't believe her and secretly put cameras to spy what she was doing. Turns out that she was crazy. She was stabbing the baby with a needle from time to time and doing things like shaking her cradle incredibly hard to torment her. Of course, they called the police, confronted her and she got arrested. I pay my neighbor to feed the stray cats in my garden when I'm away for days at a time. And the camera caught my neighbor trying to come in by pole. Bamboo faulting one time. He nailed it. Amazingly. My story isn't that interesting but I have a camera to check in on my rabbit when I'm not there. The biggest surprises were mostly just how almost nobody followed my pet's sitting instructions. The one exception, ironically, was my brother who claimed to hate the rabbit and always wanted to get rid of it. I got an alert one day that my camera had detected movement while my bro was there taking care of him and I decided to take a peek. I opened the app connected to the camera and saw my bro walk into my room, lay on the floor, and start playing with my rabbit. It just warmed my heart. I was the kiddo. My mom often tells the story of how she watched me give a big ol' hug to my babysitter who just broke down out of nowhere after serving me lunch. Turns out her dad had died a month back and it just wasn't a good day for her. I still remember you, Ems, Yancey. I hope you're doing just fine now. A friend caught his nanny hitting their kid for interrupting that day's binge of a TV show friends. I house dogs it for friends of my parents. The first time I did it they mentioned they had a security camera by the front door that was motion activated. And I didn't really think anything of it. They were gone for a few weeks. They come home. Their two giant huskies are happy. I get paid and all was well. A couple weeks later my mom calls me laughing and laughing my parents had dinner with the friends I dogs it for and they showed a video to my parents from the front door cam. Apparently all it showed was me sprinting full speed down the hallway, a dog toy in hand, biggest stupid grin on my face, followed by the two huskies running and sliding after me, followed by me, followed by the huskies over and over and over and over again. I sit for them as often as I can. I got a nanny cam to keep an eye out for my elderly grandfather, especially when the homemaids were there. My grandfather started asking for lots of cash and couldn't remember what was happening to it. A brooch that my aunt was supposed to get disappeared. And then I heard reports of my grandfather being inappropriate with the sum of the home health aides. He was busted squirreling away his medication that he was supposed to be taking in his chair, giving money to an aide and being inappropriate to another aide friend caught her rummaging through her closet and stealing her blouse. She confronted her about it when she returned home, and the woman played innocent. She was wearing the effing blouse. She picked up our pug G and was dancing around the living room with him while that hey, I just met you song was playing. This isn't a bad one. My parents caught the babysitter carrying our 60 pounds golden retriever like he was a baby. We caught our maintenance guy spooning with our 130 pound mastiff on the floor. We encourage their love as best we can now. She stole a single puzzle piece of what we were trying to solve. Saw her put it in her pocket. Final straw was stealing one of our refined potted plants. I have caught her making pillow forts that are heavily resistant to the monsters that may or may not come out during heavy thunderstorms with my kiddo. 20 minutes after bedtime. Needless to she was dealt with appropriately. 
My uncle told me this once when a babysitter was holding his daughter, my older cousin, when she was a baby. The baby was playing with her toys and she somehow swallowed a small piece of something and the babysitter performed the hemlick but for babies. There's a version of that for babies idk where I found it though. She saved my cousin and her family was thankful. They have no idea where the babysitter is now but right now she's supposed to be around her late 40s. My aunt has a nanny cam and found my older cousin's babysitter playing blackjack with him she lost $50 lol. The couple I sat for had a nanny cam in their living room, the kind that went in bears. They got me on video giving their 2 yo the Heimlich after he tried to eat a rock. We have a security camera in my bedroom for my free roam bunny so we can keep an eye on her whilst on work. If we go on holiday act, well my dad is 50 and is a big bloke who acts like he doesn't like pets came over to visit one day whilst I was out. He went in my room and crouched down calling the bunny. He spent an hour trying to pet the rabbit and kept repeating in a soft voice I'm not going to hurt you. I just want to pet you and see how fluffy you are. He just about shit himself when I spoke through the security camera to tell him she's very fluffy. I'm not a parent rather the child and I had this nanny, or yara as we would call it. It became useless because she soon found out and kept unplugging the camera. It turns out she was slowly stealing money from my family. We fired her. The family I nanny for told me that their previous nanny got caught doing loads of awful things. The couple that outraged me most were one, leaving their 3 year old daughter in the tub with water up to her chest for 2 hours every day while she sat in another room unable to see said child, and 2, once she went to run an errand with the same kid, and their doorbell camera caught her putting kid in car seat, not buckling her, and peeling off. The mom said you could see toddler trying to buckled herself in before they took off, 